Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan, if you have not figured that out by the name on the tin here on Twitch, and we are on the Citadel server again today, playing some Minecraft. We've been in the bowels of the iron farm the last couple of streams, I'll catch you up real quick. We have an iron golem burning right now in the melting pot. We've got zombies and villagers up there that generate the iron golems, and over the last couple of streams we've been taking the drops that are going down. I don't think you can see from quite here. It's just a little drop shaft right there. We'll go downstairs and take a look. But that is what we have been working on and they are all being collected here and we are turning the iron ingots into blocks of iron. We've got four shulker boxes. Oop, some spare stuff there. Uh, and as well as some hoppers behind. I'll show you those. Just to kind of bring you up to speed real quick. So we have room beyond the shulker boxes for a little bit of overflow and then if anything does completely back up we can always just start to um, destroy things over the cactus and that's all coming up from down here right down there so that is where all of the iron is being made and then over here we are as of last stream from this server turning uh, the poppies into other stuff so this minecart gets full of poppies. Let's see if I can, how many poppies are in it. There's eight. When it hits 23, you'll see a couple more come in there. It will release and travel along these hoppers and distribute evenly into each of the hoppers. And we've got three hoppers going into a composter. And then this will make white dye. We've got one hopper going into a crafter that will make red dye. And we've got one here that just spits out the poppies. So upstairs, we are collecting the poppies, the red dye, and the white dye. Now, what we're going to try to do today is actually create the pink dye. And I have an idea of how to do that simply. It'll be a little bit more work, but it will not be as complicated as I originally thought. Now, we also need to get some more shulker boxes because we don't have boxes for any of those just yet. I may end up having to put chests there temporarily until we can sort that out. However, what I'm thinking about doing, to explain it as best I can, is right now we have these three hoppers going into bone meal, which turns into white dye. My thought process is to just do this again, farther down the line, so we'll have to extend this water thing uh, and instead of just turning into white dye, we'll also grab, we'll make another one of these and we'll make red dye right next to it. And then we'll combine them and then spit that into the water stream. So what we could end up doing actually is uh, to try and keep it all level. I could have the minecart go up a bit, maybe. I don't know if I have the room. We've also got, <laughs> unfortunately, we're right up against my moss farm stuff here. So, like, we don't have a lot of room to go up here. We do have a lot of room down this way. Um, although, we also, I ran into the, I ran into the bone, bone block stuff over here, too. So, we're a little tight on space there. But, yeah, so the idea is that rather than trying to separate out red dye and white dye from the existing um because i i don't know how to siphon just one red dye and just one white dye right i don't know how to do that but what i can do is just repeat this module and this module and then instead of having them output into a stream i can have them output into a crafter and i don't i might be able to fit that around the corner if we had the hopper minecart turn sideways here, I might be able to fit it over here. There's water up here somewhere, though. I need to go get some torches if I'm going to be down here digging around. Sweet Sandy, True Purple, Rado, hello. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. And Cosmic is here. Hello, Cosmic. I don't know why my voice went up six octaves just then, but go with it. All right. Uh, I'll grab some. We're going to be bringing down some stone. I want some torches. I 
also need to get rid of this. This has been bumping me in the head repeatedly. It's a little bit better. So we, we've targeted this as the area where we need to bring things up. I could bring them up in other places, but right now this is where we're going to be bringing things up. Uh, I'm going to need my redstone box. I'm going to need some deep slate tiles. And I think that's it. Don't know why I left one. <laughs> Whenever someone sees me in person, their voice goes up six, oct six octaves as well. It's because they're excited to see you, Cosmic. That's why. Um, what wouldn't work, Dan? No, yeah, I can't use an item filter because then it's going to grab all of the white and and red dye, not not just one, right? Like I don't know how to do just the one. We had enough trouble trying to figure out how to do this, so. I mean, I could put in, yeah, there's just no way to control the filter. So this needs, um, it doesn't have to be three wide. It could just be the one. So I don't need three spots. I just need the one spot. So that's easy enough. And I feel like I could probably fit it here. The question is, do I have enough headroom? And see, there's water dripping from one of these, right? Is that from just upstairs? That's from just upstairs. That doesn't need to be there, I don't think. No, okay, so this this actually can end uh, here. We can just put that like that. See, it's working. Poppies, red, red dye. Why is there red dye and poppies? Hmm. I might have to check that. Don't know why that did that. It could just be the randomness of that. Opera, what, do I have any trapdoors? No. Let me get some trapdoors and we'll try to contain that stuff. Uh, I would say probably Oh, no, I need to do there and there. That should keep those separate just for now. Just so I know we're not making poppies out of this by accident. So I can actually get rid of all of this. Which means we can get rid of the water. Crap, 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 crap. Did that do anything bad? I don't think it did. I thought it was fast enough there.
No crap, I did it again. <sighs> Thought I got it all. Oh well. Now I definitely have to redo some stuff in here. Now what's missing? Uh, comparator. Here. Think. And definitely repeater there and there. Nope. I'm uh, missing repeater. This is probably not meant to go there. Mm -mm, that's not right. What changed there? It's only supposed to do that. That has to be a repeater. Something's missing. Oh, there's a comparator that's meant to be here. There we go. And then that's probably redstone dust. So I don't know. That's just some sort of weird tunnel that I don't need. Hmm. Right, I think we're done here. So this on the other side is a water elevator that goes up top. And I can move all of this stuff and I very well might in order to get um, a better signal, better control and get this out of the way. I might just have to move it back. This is where the water is gonna go from below. It's gonna go up here. I might try to change that in case we needed a better spot. I do need to move this ladder though. I feel like we can just move it for now, probably to here. So that's going to be the water coming up. Uh, always fun times when water seeps all the redstone away. Also, hi, chat. And Joel, looks like I'm just in time for more mishaps adventures. Yes, Dalar, you are right right on time. Right on time. Uh, we are attempting to make uh, a small change here. And I feel like what I'm going to do is, is maybe remove some of this. Now I have to be careful here because some of this stuff is going into hoppers probably. Okay. 
so the next thing we need to do is collect we need another composter i think i've got those upstairs so i need two composters Actually, I'll probably just bring them all. So we need another single composter that goes into a crafter. And I need another single composter that goes into another crafter. They should be able to be side by side. I don't want to do it here, but I feel like I could probably do it in this space. So I could have this turn the corner. And then we could have hoppers. I don't have any regular rails. Crap. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the support this week, folks. I really, uh, really, really appreciate it, especially with sub September going on. We've got 25% off of subscriptions all month long until October 1st. I should say 25% off tier one to be, to be clear. So that'll be a turn the corner. And then we've got to have composter. Composter goes down into crafter. Now the cool thing is we can have that crafter go a certain direction. And actually shoot it into another crafter. Cosmic Dancer with 1000 bits. Holy nuggets. Between that and True Purple's Tier 1 sub, right on the heels of me announcing that Twitch shubs are 25% off, 67 months True Purple. Holy smokes. Uh, that kicked off a hype train. And we are now almost all the way through level 1 of the hype train. Thank you ever so much. And Pain the Trash Grinder, <laughs> welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, so there's... Part of the builds upstairs and i don't know why i've built it all the way over in there because like it disappears and i don't think i need to have it go that far like it goes around the corner and for whatever reason it goes like well into the distance and i don't know why so like it could just stop right there so i might have to take some of this out for my own sanity So that will take Poppy and turn it into 
This will do white. No, red dye. How did I? Oh, no. That'll be composter bone meal white dye. I need I need three crafters total. I think those were separate. Cosmic Dancer, holy crap. Let me just let me just back up here. We've got uh Redoza subscribing at tier one, taking advantage of those 25% off subs. Thanks so much, Rado. Uh if you want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, now that you have a sub, you can join the Joel Duggan Discord. You'll just look for the Joel Duggan uh Discord in your Twitch connections tab. Sorry, your Discord connections tab in your options after you connect your Twitch and Discord accounts. Most people have them already connected. Cosmic Dancer with 22 gifted subs. Cosmic, 22 gifted subs. That's a level five hype train now. Holy smokes. We've got Britzy Anaxo, MJ, XX, Jeff D76, Red Sky One, Falcon Cult Scar, Ray Radio 95, Nuska, Maxi with lots of nines, Quartza, that's a cool name. Revered Studios, Dr. Weir, hey Dr. Weir, Twinkle Twos, Raven Trickster, One Megatron 915, I like your name already, I'm a big Transformers fan, Zero Authority, Marcus 1170, hey Marcus, Al Alster 2, Alistair 2, you've got, uh, you've got a, a sub, Lucid Wolf, hey, you've got a tier one sub, Sophia, Miss Mist, Imp, and Ancients all got gift subs from Cosmic Dancer. Thank you so much, Cosmic. That was incredibly generous. I really, really appreciate it. I need to make more crafter stuff. Crafting bench dropper. My redstone's downstairs. Pain the Trash Grinder has also subscribed to Tier 1, and Blast Jordan has used 100 bits. Blast, thanks for joining in on the hype train, and welcome in, Pain. Uh, you've probably heard the, the spiel about uh, getting all of your Discord and Twitch connections going, so please do that and make sure you join us in the Discord. For folks that are uh, wondering about like Twitch notifications as well as Twitter notifications, I announce and do an everyone tag in Discord when I go live. So if you are looking to ha have alerts when I go live, then being in the Discord is probably the best way to do that. That should do us for now. I also need more hoppers. Is that all of the iron? And Payne the Trash Grinder jumping in with another 100 bits. Thanks very much. That's super generous of you. Level five hype train has got 40 seconds left on the clock. Okay, where were we? So poppies go in, bone meal comes out, and that goes into this crafter. 
And then I can have another crafter facing this way. And then this crafter could receive, how did I do this over here? Yeah, so we could have a crafter here and a hopper there and a hopper there. So if I got this right, poppy, bone meal, bone meal, white dye into there. And then this is poppy red dye. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Grandpa Crafter. That's 13 months for Grandpa Crafter. Cosmic, thanks ever so much for the gift sub. Uh, Pain jumping in with another 200 bits. That's amazing. That was a level four hype train. You probably received a emote from Twitch. If you did, please go ahead and share it. I got the floating kitty cat balloon. Not sure about you. Thanks again for all the support, folks. What a great way to kick off the stream. So the only problem here is that, of course, we have to figure out how to do the, um, the redstone for it all, right? And I don't know if I necessarily have the room. So for this, that's just going to automatically do bone meal. This needs no redstone. This comes in, bone meal. It's this one that will need to be able to craft. And I just need to look at the one that makes white dye and figure out what it needs. The back end there is just a bunch of observers. So that's possible. I hope I have the room to do this here. You didn't get one, Cosme. Did you not already have one? I wish there was a way to share emotes like that. Does it, is it random? How does that, how do you not get one? So we're going to look up at that. Just like that one. And then we're going to look at this observer here. Redstone and then comparator. So that'll be bone meal. This, however, is going to be the tricky one. Because this is going to be only when there's red dye in there. And that's where we have to probably change the water channel. So the red dye, the problem we had with the red dye was that more poppies came in. So that's going to be red dye. I don't have a way to compare or power that. Yeah, this has to be spaced out more, I think. I was hoping to do this tightly, but I think we're going to have to space it a little bit. I 
I could move it one more to the left, maybe. No, because then that's gonna that's gonna I don't think those would connect. They might. So what does this need? This needs to have the composter thing. So it needs a pretty big setup. Yeah, we'll have to move this down a bit. And this can't go here either. Cosmic says, who knows how Twitch does anything these days? This is the same company that was very different idea of what the month of September is. Yeah, right? Yeah, they, September is very cool, but it's also very confusing. They really make the marketing really complicated. It's like when Snut uh, on the Satisfactory team the other day explained the difference between the supercomputer and the quantum computer. And the only thing that happened was that the quantum computer was removed from the game. And the old skin for the quantum computer is now the supercomputer. That's it. But he explained it in the most convoluted, confusing way. Like, it, it couldn't have been more unclear had he tried. <laughs> really bizarre way of doing things. Okay, so I need to have a crafter that's making red dye. And that needs, like, a double double thing so I'm gonna need a crafter here it might not be pointing in that direction it could actually be up here wait a minute that means I could do it here oh but then I can't how do I get the crafter from there? I need to get the bone meal from there to the next thing too. Wait a minute. Why don't I point this into a hopper? Do, out of curiosity, if I put a crafter and a hopper. It does suck it out. Okay, cool. So this was going to need a comparator, which I don't have anymore. Oh gosh. Red dye. Poppies are separate. Okay. That's good. Uh, I need quartz. Oh, my red sun torches. <laughs> Spent six hours on a redstone elevator yesterday, uh, Rado. Am I pronouncing your name right, by the way? Um, yeah, uh, we. I'm. I'm happy with what we've done. I. I feel like I've learned a lot about the space you need for crafters. Like it's hard to be compact with crafters. What well, I'm discovering. So I might need to make another one of those. Um, because this is going to get more than one poppy. I 
I think it's going to get more than one poppy. So it might not be good to turn the corner. It might be best to just do this in a straight line and continue on this way. So this is what I'm not so sure about. Oh, that's right here. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's part of the decoration upstairs. So we will probably just go in this direction. I'm resisting the urge to turn the whole thing sideways. Well, if that's the case, then that makes this a little bit more straightforward. We can actually just push a lot of this. Down this way. Need more room I could drop down a block or two. I could do that too, yeah. I'm just trying to get it all in the same water stream. Which is fine. I could also drop the water stream down a block or two as well. In the meantime, this will stop working because the minecart is going to fly off the end here. Okay. So we'll need a little bit of space. I don't think if I put something in here, it just flashes. So... I could go right next to this with another hopper. Because here could just be bone meal. So hopper, bone meal, and then we have, or I could put that over here. This is going to be red dye. Oh, my inventory is full. Mr. Matt Ranger, hello, hello. How's it going? This is really straight. Uh, no, that needs the nine. Can't remember why. Oh, because the bone meal only goes in one at a time. That's why the that's why the white dye dispenser is so simple. Is because we only ever get one very slowly. This gets more faster. So this needs a bigger setup. So that would have to be here. And then we just copy what's next door. The question is, do I need it to be, oops. 
do I need to have this all set up here? So this. I'm probably trying to make this more compact than it needs to be. So that's the footprint for that. And then I just need to figure out how to get, that'll be red dye. And this is gonna make, hmm. Yeah, I can't have the hoppers go underneath the crafter. That's the tricky part. So this is going to make, that's going to make white dye. I feel like I can maybe make the red dye first. That's probably the better option. Yeah, because then I could put the red dye could go into a hopper. And the white dye could go into a hopper. Don't forget that the white dye needs three hoppers to fill a composter once. No, uh, you're right. It does. But do we, do we need that much pink dye? Do you know what I mean? Cause we're looking at three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Then we don't have enough, right? I could do two hoppers into the into the composter, right? Like I could do I could do that. What I'm thinking is I might try to have the final crafter like here. So like red dye comes in, white dye comes in, we would do this. But then this crafter needs a whole bunch of stuff behind it. Like it just, it gets so, I have to space this out more, I think. Because the red dye just needs so much space behind it. I think we just have to do one at a time. It's a lot of spaghetti. Yeah, it is. It really is. All right. So red dye is one hopper, but requires a bunch of stuff. I think there's an observer under that. Is there not? Whoops.
so this crafter is going to need this whole setup. Uh, I could double use that if I had a way to skip that. It's too bad. I'm, I'm going to have to put another composter down, which is annoying. Hey, one Megatron. Thanks for popping in and thanking Cosmic for the gift sub. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, Cosmic had a question in game chat. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the in game question. Do you have some glow lichen I could use, please? Just one piece. Uh, I do. I have any on me? Uh, I do. In Westell. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I might have it here. Hold on. hold on. Let me just see. Uh, and thank you, Sweet Sandy, for that. I appreciate the heads up. Very much dug into what I'm doing. Yeah, not with me. Uh, if I have any. Yeah. <laughs> when streaming with server mates it's almost like you need uh, like a busy signal <laughs> road trip thank you. you no problem no problem so i need to put like a composter all the way over here to then have a comparator output what i really wish we could do is put comparators on comparators but you can't do that And yeah, there's no way to get the signal up and over that. So that'll go into there. This will go into a repeater. A uh, bunch of gobbledygook goes there. That's fine. And Ray's works raiding with a party of 32. Holy smokes. Thanks so much, Ray. Raided, raided, raided. That's a fun, that's a fun raid message. Well done. Mighty Mo65, welcome in. Folks, if you want to go see what Ray's works was up to on stream, uh, you can go follow the link in chat, click that little heart button, and go follow another Minecrafter on Twitch. Nodi Hub, hello, welcome in. Zodo Turtle, welcome in. Foof O, welcome in. Pizza Night, good to see you. Thanks for coming in, folks. If you are new, my name is Joel Duggan. I am a streamer and podcaster. I co host the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs, and I am currently on the Citadel, my seven year old uh, multiplayer server, working on the Iron Farm. You can hear. The golem's being melted right now, and if we rush, we'll be able to see the drop. So the drops are coming in right there. There it is. There's a block. What timing? We're using crafters for the first time, and it's going well. Question mark. <laughs> Well-ish. It's slow going. All the redstone is working well. Um, was uh, making a walkthrough of a fast, compact raid farm. Oh, very cool. Uh, we are working on trying to get pink dye. Uh, we have poppies, red dye, and white dye, but I'm trying to make white dye and red dye again to make pink dye as a personal challenge. I don't need it. I'm probably not going to be the one on the server that uses it very much, but uh, I know it's possible. So that's the plan here. Um, so this is going to be the red dye machine. And this is not, this is incorrect. So that's the entirety of the red dye circuit. I just have to figure out where it's going to go. And then we have to have the white dye, which can be here. I 
I could put a hopper here pointing into another crafter. The crafter could be there. So white uh, bone uh, poppies to bone meal, bone meal to this crafter, which would be for our pink dye. And then this um, crafter here could output into I could use a hopper. I could just use a chest, couldn't I? So the red die, which I think has to be, yeah. So that goes into there. Red die, that goes in there. White die goes from there into there. I think that solves it, right? Uh, this could be here. Double poppy into bone meal. That will be a hopper. I just can't do that right now. And then we just have to put the redstone down for this. And this, because it's receiving two items, it needs the same needs needs the same setup as I think most of what we've done before, which is to have a composter. I'm really kind of bummed that if I drop this down a block, I wonder if I can line everything up. Because I could use this one I could use this one composter, but it's fine. Not a big deal. So there we go. Red dye, poppies, and white dye. Um, this is going to need a comparator. What does this actually put a signal strength at? Be nine, right? I'm trying to figure out whether that has to be on an observer. I think it does. Do I need anything from West Hill? Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Uh, that's a really good question. Do I need anything from West Hill? Um, I don't think so. I think all of my stuff is here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Thanks though. Crafter can be easy and very complicated. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Lord Jake Ryan, since the crafter came out, I've been learning more about redstone. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, it's. I think it's pushing people to be a little bit more into redstone because of, of the cool things that you can do with it, right? So that, this has to be filled up. I just, I've got poppies upstairs. We can go and mess around with some testing here. But I think that's, is that the redstone ready to go? Almost. I need to put in the pistons. This goes there. Now 
why? Oh, because this isn't filled up. That's why. That's set. We just need to add the bone meal. Uh, Pizza Knight, thanks for coming in with that raid. Uh, hopefully you followed and we'll see you again. Thanks so much again to Ray for the raid. Morgantic, welcome in. Good to see you. So I'm going to grab a couple stacks of poppies here to do some testing with. So this needs to be at a full level. So if I put one thing in here, no. But if I put two things in here, also no. Oh, that's not a recipe. Hold on. I need to make red dye. That did not do the thing. That still has... Hmm. I'll have to work on that. This should work. So if I put several poppies in here. Did I not put an observer there? Is it facing the wrong way? I think it's facing the wrong way. It needs to be, yeah, I think I faced this the wrong way. So it made like nine because I put in so much. Okay. So that works. Uh, we need to remove this hopper rail. And then we need the rail to, to, continue, to uh, continue two past here plus the block. Sworn I had two of these, but okay. So now, when this fills up, Well, that's everything. It takes the full 23. That's interesting. So I think it did a little bit in there. This obviously made some red dye. I need to maybe toss this out somewhere. Uh, wasn't there an observer under all of this to get a signal back to the crafter? I th yeah, I think at some point uh, there is an observer underneath this one, right? 
So that's there. I think the tricky thing is that I'm trying to figure out what to do for the read on a two part. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be nine. So that should be the same as what's happening there. Stream is past the first hour. Oh my gosh, you're right. Uh, you're right, you're right. How? I guess I just need to figure out how to get that to shoot out die, right? I've got that and I've got that. So this gets white and then red, but then nothing happens. And what we want it to do is why is so i've obviously done something wrong with the observer because even me just tweaking this with redstone like this should yeah i wonder if that observer is facing the wrong way I must have had the observer wrong. That must have been what was going on. Okay, I think I've got it right now. Uh, we are gonna take a short break. If you're new to the stream, uh, coming in with that raise works raid, uh, I step away every hour for about five or six minutes. It gives me a chance to grab a glass of water, stretch. You should too. Make sure you stay hydrated and uh, don't sit too long, all that kind of good stuff. When we come back, uh, I will uh, continue with this. We'll do a double check on it. And hopefully we will be able to redirect all of the stuff into storage. So uh, give me five or six minutes, folks. I will be right back.
second raid of the day. Elkhorn 95, the mighty Elkhorn raiding with a party of 15. Thanks ever so much, Elkhorn. What were you up to on stream today? Elkhorn, of course, is a member of this community and streaming on Dragonfell today. First Canyon skyscraper finished and started a second one that will be a, res a restaurant and hold all of my food items and food related villagers. Very cool. That sounds like a fun project, Elkhorn. I'm glad you're enjoying the Dragonfell server. That's awesome. Folks, check out the link in chat. You can go follow Elkhorn95 and their exploits on the Dragonfell server. And sometimes they stream from Infinity Cove, which is my patron server. And if you wanted to support the stream and play on a server with like-minded adults, then you can check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Back at it. Back to work. I say work. Air quotes. Obviously, this is a very fun job. I think we've got it sorted. I think. We just have to let this run a little bit to see what's going on, right? So this should receive red dye. And I'm going to put this on... That was a weird noise. I think that was the it made a crafting thing without a crafting item in it. I think that's what happened. So I obviously have to move this. This is not going to be the best place for this. I try to have my redstone clear all the way around whenever I can. There's probably water above that bone block. I feel like that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> I'll just leave that there for now. So we can test this by just loading up this guy. Wait to see if we get any poppies. Just the one. So that got two red dye. That's dumb. And then the bone meal is stuck there, and then this won't do anything. So the issue here is that the red dye comes in first. And the red dye will come in more frequently than the white dye. Crap. So all of the circuitry will work. It's just that the order in which the crafter takes things is frustrating. Yeah, I don't have any idea how to solve that off the top of my head either. The only thing I can think of is... I really find, find it dumb that it puts red dye in the second. Like, why would it not just stack up? Right? Also, that didn't craft anything either. It's obviously putting out a signal. Oh, because that's going to... Well, for starters, it's going to bone meal, not white dye, right? Uh, so that can't be there. That's going to go into another crap. So yeah, so that, that won't work. 
I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to put a crafter in the bottom of the water channel and have it shoot up. So this is making red. This is making bone meal. Hmm. So that needs to be turned into white, and that's easy enough to do. So if I put a crafter here. The problem is that if I use a crafter to shoot red dye into here, eventually this crafter is going to back up. It's not going to be able to Yeah. The problem here is that this crafter is getting probably three poppies. I didn't see how many it got. Um, it'll probably tell me if I put more poppies in here. Do I have a delay? I do. So yeah, it's three it gets three poppies. And I don't have a way of making sure it only gets one poppy. Do a cra uh do a crafter does a crafter take bone meal from a composter or do you need it from a hopper? Um, a composter needs a hopper underneath it. Otherwise, the bone meal, you have to manually click it. Like, I have to click that. A crafter won't take it out. I need a hopper. The problem is that I've got three red dye to one white in terms of what's happening here. And I don't know how to... I don't know how to do that outside of, and I can't filter off the red dye because there's no way to just pull one. Hopper into the crafter, but then it'll output into another crafter. Yeah, and that's fine. Uh, the problem is that our red dye is coming in faster than our white. I could put another hopper here, uh, although right now we're using up all 23. So we've got, I think it ends up being three in each one. Because that goes back to being empty. Yeah. So this needs to be making bone meal and it could shoot into another crafter, but I could point that sideways and have, right? Like I could have another crafter or I could have another crafter here. I could point that into there, but then this is still going to do three red dye, right? So if I take this off, put that there. This is still going to make three red dye. Okay. 
Could the solution be for a balance be to trigger the red die crafter when the white die crafter triggers? Uh, yeah, but the problem is that this red die crafter is just, I guess it could just end up with, I guess there's no risk of overflow because this is always going to go back and forth. So I could, if this just fills up with poppies, maybe I don't need to empty this. Maybe, I don't remember why we needed to empty it. Do you remember why we had this, this auto emptier thing here? Because when it built up with more than one poppy, it wouldn't make the recipe. Was that why? Like if I um, remove the piston. Oh, I've got no room. So if I remove the piston and this gets a poppy, then nothing happens. And if it gets several poppies, nothing happens. Because this is the loop. Right, so wait a minute. If I remove this and change this to look up, Uh, I guess I can't, can I use redstone? That might connect. Right. So that doesn't matter if that just gets jammed up. What happens if that's full? nothing and then it's also probably going to jam this one too right because it's not updating the redstone the hopper is so fast it can put in more than one item and then such yeah 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 Right, so I do I do need this to be the em it needs to empty. And that needs to look at this. Ugh. I wish they would be a little bit more consistent with how directional blocks work in the game. Right. Second red die, if it gets the signal from the white die crafter, it's craft exactly the right amount of red die to craft the pink die. It doesn't matter if it stacks up against signal comes in from somewhere else. Right, so I'm using the crafter that's full of stuff to signal, right, I don't wanna do that. You're saying take the signal from the white die crafter? which is that one. To trigger the red die crafter, which is that one. And then the bone meal one. ones that's the pink uh, all right 
let's forget this for a second. And that just needs to do a simple observer clock, right? There's nothing crazy here. I just need to have an observer looking this way. Comparator. Right. But what we could do then is power the red, and this just needs to be triggered, then it doesn't matter what's in there. So I could potentially remove all of this like then this doesn't matter this just has to be triggered whenever this is powered so all I need to do is pull a signal from here And the easiest way to do that is just going to be that. I need some bone meal. It's a good idea, Sandy. I appreciate it. Do, 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 do. This is the problem, is that once there's that many in there, it just won't do anything. So we need to, that's not gonna work, I don't think. But if I do bone meal, I don't think that's doing anything. No, this is not working. So we will, I don't think that's going to work. Fifty four. Didn't do anything because that probably didn't get far enough. So did that do two? Fifty. Yeah, it did two. Um, so observer while compact is not the best solution. Wonder why that only I guess it only powers wonder why that only powers once.
46, 45. That probably locks that hopper though. And it's going to be in the way of the water stream. Crap. I could just bring that back a bit. Forty four. That did not power it. Yeah, the redstone torch isn't blinking. Hmm. Well, this doesn't have to be up that high. We could just put in this down. I think that worked. I don't know whether this is going to be too close to the water. I might have to have the water change directions. I don't know if I want items potentially falling down in spaces. We don't need this here and we don't need this here. So the, the problem with the observer is that the observer, um, the observer fires twice and we only want it to do the once, right? So if this is full of stuff right now, if this crafts, it'll just do the one, right? 41 white die. This will go down to 40, right? And that's fine. Uh, and what we could do then is I might have to reverse these because what I could do is have this face this way and have this face this way into another crafter. If that makes sense. Don't need this right now. It is getting smaller, which is good. Um, I just need to figure out what to point that into. And this could go into another crafter, but then we have the same problem of where do I put all of the, all the stuff, right? Cause then we have to have all the comparative stuff behind that. And I don't think that's going to work. So I think what I need to do is I need to grab the white die first. So we'll just reverse this. That can stay like that. This will go here. I'll flip this around. And then this will change to a crafter that will face this way. Uh, this then goes down here. 
which will face, I guess, this is going to go down into a crafter. That moves over there, so this goes here like this. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be doing. Oh, that's my original white die. Uh, could have the crafter in order white, pink, red. And have them all craft from the signal of the white crafter. Have the crafter in order, white, pink, red, and then have them all craft from the signal from the white crafter. White, pink, red. So that's the white crafter. The problem is I got to put the white, the pink goes here. And then red is up there and red could go into this like we had it. Right. So white, pink, red, and then I just need to do the way that it's powered all come off of the white crafter. So whenever this creates white dye, oh no, this doesn't need to be like that, right? This can just, right, not set up right. And then that goes, so that's that. And then this just needs to get powered once from that signal. And this can have as many flowers in it and it needs to be so that will shoot one red die into there which will go down into here uh, this will create one bone meal and only when it creates a bone meal will this shoot the red die and then last but not least we need this to craft something once yeah see the problem is getting everything into the final crafter too many crafters too close yeah no I agree So you're saying I have to space out. Yeah. Well, let's just test to make sure that this does the thing. I mean, that worked, right? So now I think it's just that this has to be farther along. We have to have, this probably has to have a space on either side of it. Would be my guess. Because then this has got to have, um, yeah, this has to have its own lane.
Uh, can't just delay the white die signal a tick. Um, sorry, don't know what the context is. No, there was no room into the pink crafter. to the pink crafter uh where would we even get the signal though there was no room i don't think there was enough room so this is going to be the pink crafter we're probably gonna have to drop the water stream down just to kind of, I wanted it to be all nice and even, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do it because this has to be so low. Um, well, no, I guess I could, I could angle that sideways, couldn't I? I could put the crafter here. Uh, but I'll face it this way. try this again double bone meal and that's going into there and that just needs a simple observer thingy like that I wish this wasn't such a pain Am I doing that on the wrong level? I'm doing that at the wrong level. There, and then those do don't touch. That's fine. So that is the white die, right? Yeah. Okay. And that is going to go into probably another hopper would be my guess. And then we'll have the pink die go in there. And that'll go into there. And then the red die, I guess we just put here. And the red die could just go into this uh, because no, we have to do the we have to do the redstone for the pink. This is gonna get this is gonna power the red die. These are weird. They go the opposite of observers, which is not what you want. Right, so if this had all the things, 
and this had just the one thing, then that happens and that happens. So then the only thing we need to do now is make sure that this crafts immediately and SO2Bloom was saying to delay that. Nope. I don't know why that didn't work. Red dye. There might have been two white dye in that hopper. The good news is that the white dye is going to be very slow. The bone meal is going to be very slow. So that's too fast. That's still not enough delay. Would be my guess. So... Yeah, like that did not work. I could put that. No, that's going to redirect the redstone. Hmm. I really don't know. Because the delay makes sense. Putting another repeater there wouldn't work. I wonder why that didn't work. Maybe if I move this closer? Oops. Nope, still too fast. What is the best way? To delay that. This just feels really cheap now. I don't feel like it's a very elegant solution. Yeah, that's worked. So it just it was just enough delay.
Is that too far? Not too. I have slabs. I do. So two go into that, and question is: Do do I need that space there? I don't. Do I? That's right, I really don't want to redo it. Hopefully that won't affect the items. They're gonna be they're gonna be on this side anyway. Alright, let's just see what happens here. Oh, well, it's not going to work if you do that. So there wasn't enough poppies in there. We just need more. Cool. I'd say that works. I am happy about that. Thanks, Bloom. Late Raider, Wildly, Coy Wildly Coyote, welcome in. All right, so now we just have to figure out the part where we go up. And I would like there to be a decent amount of space here. So we'll probably do that. I could still, well, we don't need any of this, right? This is no longer needed. I could still use this space. I wouldn't mind being back a little bit farther. I don't think that really needs to be right, right there. I just can't remember what happens above. Right, so if anything, I wouldn't mind being a little bit to this direction. Currently, that's where we have it marked. And I just need to be to the left of these hoppers. That's it. That's the only reason. So I think I'll give myself a little bit of room between the trigger for the moss farm. And I'll probably bring this over to make here. means we're going to have water going up in the middle of our redstone. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Um, if I go back here, I could also just go back this way a bit too. Oh, that's right by the trigger. That doesn't really help.
That seems far enough away from everything. More problems, more break time. Uh, yeah, the break time is upon us. You're right. You are right. That should work. So everything's going to be shot out into this water stream. I am unsure about those hoppers. Um, I might be able to tighten that up. We'll just have to do some corners and then we'll do a glass elevator here going up. Okay. I think I've got a plan. But I will stick to those bricks. Thank you for the reminder, Cosmic. Boop, boop, boop. Once again, folks, I step away about once an hour. It gives me a chance to get a glass of water. It gives you a chance to grab a friend and let them know that we are streaming live. And I will be right back.
So Sweet Sandy was nice enough to send me a Discord message with a solution. And I think it's the same. It's just that it's more compact than what I've got going on. We could bump these down together and just have different um, delays around, I think is the is the situation. Uh, so thanks for that, Sandy. I may, I may uh, make those adjustments. Uh, for now, though, what I need to do is sort out where we're sending everything. And I'm going to need a lot more hoppers. Do I have enough wood for more hoppers is the question. Yes, I do. Got lost in the problem solving. Love it. Hey, no, it's all good, right? I mean, it just, it's part of the process. So the only thing here is that uh, these are all going into what will eventually be shulker boxes. So we have to do a redstone filter up here. So we're sending all of these items up in one stream. So I need to filter them up. Uh, up here. So these blocks will be shulker boxes eventually. Uh, what we need to do is decide how these things get added. So that kind of has to stay like that, which means that our hopper filter streamy thing is going to be across the top here. So this is going to be the filter hopper. Right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Or does, could I use that as a filter hopper? I probably could. Yeah, I probably could. So water stream goes along there. This is then used as a filter. So we would use this and this would have to be the old filter design. So we need a comparator, redstone torch. That's not right. Good. What am I doing wrong here? That's correct. Why am I drawing a blank on this? I just built these. Oh no, that's right. It goes underneath the comparator.
that has to have the f right i am building this too low this needs to have the filter in it but that's fine it can have the filter in it does it need to be one higher would it not work with sticks in this way I need an anvil now. Um, maybe I'm just making this too complicated. And I'm out of redstone. Jeez. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I had to make it so much longer. I guess normally you, you're filtering down into chests, right? And this is just a little bit farther back. So that's just the adjustment that we have to make. I think that's fine. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Elkhorn95. 56 months for Elkhorn. Thanks so much, Cosmic. That was incredibly generous. Thanks again for the raid, Elkhorn. Appreciate you still, look, still uh, lurking. So that's what we have to do all along here. And that will give us the filters for everything. So then now we just need to make sure that the water stream is coming up in a way that... Um, connects with all this. So I wanted to move the water stream back to here. Which is one, two, three blocks away from the ladder. back there and it would be very close to the redstone but it would still work wouldn't mind it being just one more over
Yeah, maybe here. Did that work? Yeah, I feel like that's probably a good spot. Water will come up there. So this is going to be, I guess we'll just use orange glass. This is what we've used before. Match the other side, maybe, probably a good idea. Trying to go with the uh, the redstone being designed to match the farm a little bit. So I'll just grab some stuff here. I can hear a creeper walking around somewhere. I am probably going to need more than that. I'm probably just going to do a stack. Where am I going? Did I not just have the die? Do that all the time. How did I do it on the other side? Just the front, okay. And it has to go up to there. Obviously, we'll have to move that. This will have to move. polished deep slate blocks yeah it's not a fun sound i agree it's just, it's so funny how conditioned you are when you hear stuff like that you're like where is that that's outside that's that's unnerving i'm not a fan oh this is going to be a real problem isn't it i've not left myself very much room here
I will eventually be able to walk underneath it, maybe, but maybe I have to go all the way around. The one thing about lacing builds in into existing places is that it's very, very tricky space wise. Could probably move this ladder somewhere else too. Gonna need some more ice. I think all we have to do now is just count the, the water streams, see how it goes. Put the extra filters in up here. Where could I move this ladder to? I'd like to put it back here somewhere. I have to clean this up. This is a mess. Redstone stuff. Oh, crap. That was a repeater, I think. The zombie piglin scared. Yeah, the zombie piglin made me jump too. All right, that should give us enough room to work. Okay, got that, got that. More redstone torches. Uh, crap. Guess I have to do double repeaters.
Yeah, there's no way to avoid that, I don't think. I think I have to do... I think I have to do the doubles. If I wanted to... Because normally there's a hopper here, and this block gets locked and locks that hopper, but yeah, I won't do it. Okay. All right. What am I missing? Torches. Okay, a uh, target block? I don't know if I have that many target blocks. I might have some in here. 13, but what would that matter? I still have to get the, the um, signal into the other block. I'm confused. Redstone. I am really running low on some redstone, aren't I? That's bleeding, but hopefully it doesn't go all the way. All right, so now I just need the filter sticks for everything else. And it was 44. Should be enough. I'm almost at levels. Did I miscount? Crap. Or misclicked, anyway. Uh, I guess I just have to do one more. That was a waste. We are now out of levels. Unless I've got filter sticks in here? No. Sorry. 
what the zombified penguin farm is for. And I don't remember the order of everything. I think we've got some pink dye downstairs. Nothing looming, which is, that's not a good. I don't know if that's a good thing. That seems strange. There may be some problems. And I think it's Poppy's red, white, pink. It might be better aesthetically to do this. Yeah. So poppies, red, pink, white. Poppies, red, pink. And wait. And then we also have to move all of this. I think I turned all of my chests into hoppers. Uh, temporary chests. I'm probably going to use trap chests just for now for the aesthetics. Because my trap chests are um, spruce textured. Uh, yes, there's going to be a cacti overflow here. I just haven't done it yet. And I need item frames. I only have the one. Crap. Are there item frames out there? There's item frames out there. Yes, okay. Okay, that's that. Inventory is rather full. Let's just do a little something about that. Don't need a dropper anytime soon. Some of this I can just put in the in this in the base but I'm trying to I need to eliminate this thing so our poppies are already going to be full I mean, I guess I could dump some of them into the 
We can always steal from the poppy supply to test the system below. I real I don't think the pink dye is working correctly. There's something about it that just seems to be off to me. That's another reason I want to use shulker boxes because I hate clicking around this stuff. I'm going to leave the red dye and other dyes alone. Now I need some water buckets, some ice. I have the trap doors or the slabs, I guess. Ice. Water buckets. It's at least one. And somewhere I have kelp. There it is. Thought I had soul sand in here somewhere too. Maybe I put that downstairs. If you wire it like I had in the picture, you will always have white and red dye in the pink crafter preventing double color. Oh, I see. So putting them next to each other is actually a necessity. I think it prevents a problem. Okay, cool. It's easy to move. Not a big deal. Need to get up here somehow, some way. And line this up. So this should, the water should come up here. We'll have items go around the corner, go through the filter, and they'll just stop. We will eventually put in the cactus, but I gotta move a bunch of stuff first. So throw the water in here. And it does not go far enough. So we'll have to do another bit here. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to have a very specific spot for this and why I'm disappointed I had to move it back because it would be nice to have just a clean slate here. I may still move this around. 
I just kind of wanted to get it to work right now. So we'll get another bucket of water. Quick five minute text works fine. Cool. Thanks, Sandy. Good to know that um, it's such a hard timing thing to sort out, right? You wouldn't think it would be so specific. I just, I do find it odd that the crafter doesn't continue to stack the item in the same, um, in the same spot. That does that. Now we go downstairs. Now here's the tricky part. I need to, I guess I should probably come in there from the top, shouldn't I? Uh, Mighty Mo 65 is the same things happens with chests, you think, when crafting chests? Is that what you mean? We've got the boobles. This is an absolute mayhem of a back room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to fix this. Oh boy. Now, along here, we'll have to make some adjustments. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would rather... I think start, we want, uh, how, who, how do we do this? That's going to be pushing stuff out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I want to be there, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is not going to be long enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, that might actually work out. I am surprised. go up. Holy crap, that worked out. I did not plan that quite that way. I am assuming we will need to put trapdoors along here. Oh, crap, not there. Now, hopefully things won't get stuck on the hoppers, but I think they're going to be hitting the right side of the stream. 
would be my guess. That should take everything up, right? So we've got, well, that's not white dye. Nothing there, nothing there. I'll take a full s two stacks out. Do a double test. So we need to put a lid on that, I would say. One of those made it over. Oh, I need to end that fire alarm thing. Oh, I picked up something there. Wonder if those items got. Yeah. Something happened where they went over the edge. They did not get picked up. So something. Yeah, they were like, I picked them up here somehow. Huh. The hopper is locked. I can't receive things. Oh, is that what it is? My filter's in the wrong spot. Still has to be up a level. Yeah. So the hoppers are locked. So yeah, this all has to get moved up. Yeah, so that's fine. It'll be a shorter filter. I just I have to stack this up higher. That's fine. Um, what? But we got we got all the different dyes. Like we got all the things out of that that we wanted to. And yeah, that is the problem. So I'll have to I'll have to adjust it to your design, Sandy. Yeah, I've got to go too. I do. Thank you. And we'll have to maybe just build this wall up a little bit higher so that they actually hit something. Yeah, it's so funny how that timing is very specific. Cool. Uh, I will take a look at your design in Discord, Sandy, and I'll be able to explain it next time. Uh, I do need to run, folks, but thank you ever so much for hanging out for the afternoon. I'm going to see who is around for sending you on to some minecraft and uh we are very close to wrapping up all of the function of this farm and then i can come out here and take a stab at this mountain and maybe strip it down and showcase more of the moss farm and maybe even have a little bit of of um of the guts of the farm here um revealed inside and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, if you would want to check out the Spawn Chunks podcast, we are available on Mondays, on YouTube, on all of your favorite podcasting platforms. I will be back on Monday with Pixel Riffs, of course. 
you can listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast because I do that too. And Johnny and I are going to be talking about the Rings of Power, which I started watching this weekend, which is very, very cool. So I think you'll enjoy that as well. Uh, thank you ever so much. Cosmic Dancer, Sweet Sandy, uh, Ray's Works for the Raid, Elkhorn for the Raid, everyone for the support. I really, truly appreciate it today. What a fantastic Saturday. And uh, September is just beginning. Uh, you'll see more from me over the next week. You will see some satisfactory streams and whatnot. And um, I will, of course, be letting you know in the Discord what's coming up because subs are 25% off for one month and three month subs for the duration of September. Thanks ever so much, folks. Let's just see where I'm sending you. And it looks like survey says we are sending you to sliced lime saturday night bingo in minecraft with slice lime slice lime of course is a developer on minecraft i think you'll have a good time with sliced i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of your weekend bye for now